Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Neat English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. Basically, this particular session is for all the students who are going to write the Neat in 2024, right? So, dear students, in this particular session, I'm exactly going to let you know the top 100 topics of chemistry. These are the topics of chemistry from which every year almost questions are asked. And I would want all of you to do these topics on priority if you really want to score good in your chemistry, my dear students. Whatever topics I'm going to let you know in the session, do not skip a single topic out of the topics which I'm going to give you, right? And my dear students, after analyzing the past 10 to 15 years papers, I have come up with these 100 topics of chemistry, which you should not leave at any cost. Because you know, chemistry, or majority of the students is the second most scoring subject as far as your need is concerned after your biology, right? That's why in your read examination, you start with bio and then followed by chemistry, followed by physics, right? So these are the 100 topics which I'm going to give you, please and please take a note of these topics. Anyways, I'm going to give you the PDF of this particular session as well on the Telegram group, which I'll let you know afterwards, okay? So do not skip a single topic out of these 100 topics which I'm going to give you if you are really focused about the NEET 2024 examination, if you want to score 180 by 180 in your chemistry regarding the NEET 2024 examination. So dear students, starting with the mole concept, in the mole concept, you are going to study these three topics particularly. That does not mean you are going to leave any topic in the mole concept. No, you have got enough time. You can complete the chapter, right? You can read all the topics with all the problem patterns, but your priority should be these three topics, mole conversion, limiting region, empirical molecular formula. These are the three topics which you are not supposed to skip at any cost, number one. Number two, from the chapter, atomic structure. In the atomic structure, there are questions which are asked related to energy, radius of Bohr's orbit, velocity of electron in the Bohr's orbit, nodes, how to calculate nodes, right? What are the different types of nodes? You have got psi and psi square curves. These graphs are there. And then you have got electronic configuration with the exceptions as well. So these are the topics basically from the chapter atomic structure, which you should not leave at all, my dear students. And anyways, all these topics we are going to cover in the neat conquer batch as well, which is currently going on on this particular channel on YouTube itself, right? Perfect. From the chapter periodic classification. In the chapter periodic classification, these are the three topics, electronegativity, ionization energy and electron gain enthalpy. Three topics which you are not supposed to leave at any cost. Talking about chemical bonding, which is the most scoring chapter of your chemistry, my dear students, and I would say it's easy as well. Starting with hybridization, shape and geometry, bond order calculations. These are the three topics from the chapter chemical bonding, which are supposed to be given the priority. Okay, then talking about the states of matter, which we finished day before yesterday only on this channel itself, right? If you have not watched it yet, you can watch it. Just two, in two sessions, I've covered the entire states of matter with all the basics, all the problem patterns, right? And similarly, in just two sessions, I've completed the mole concept as well, right? In five to six hour session, okay? Then comes your states of matter, right? Gas loss, Graham's law of effusion diffusion, Van der Waals gas equation. These are the three most prioritized topics from the chapter states of matter. Moving on to thermodynamics, starting with heat and work. After heat and work, my dear students, thermodynamic processes, a relation between delta H, delta U, entropy gives free energy. These are the topics from the chapter, from the chapter thermodynamics. Now talking about thermochemistry. In thermochemistry, there are four topics which you are going to focus on. One is enthalpy of combustion, enthalpy of formation, enthalpy of neutralization, and enthalpy of reaction with the help of bond energy data. These are the four topics from the chapter thermochemistry as well. Then talking about your equilibrium. My dear students in the equilibrium, start with characteristics of equilibrium constant, important, right? And easy at the same time. KP, KC calculation, Lee Chatelier principle. These are the three topics from the chapter chemical equilibrium. Now talking about your ionic equilibrium. As far as ionic equilibrium is concerned, do not skip the topic of pH calculation and solubility product. These are two main topics of the chapter ionic equilibrium from which questions have been frequently asked, right? Similarly, in your GOC, general organic chemistry, resonance, hyperconjugation, aromaticity, stability of carbocations and carbanions, right? 
Currently, HSP sir has finished the general organic chemistry in just two sessions. I would suggest you guys to watch those sessions as well, right, on the channel itself. Now, moving on, moving on to some other topics which are equally important. Talking about solid state. In solid state, you have got two topics. One is analysis of the unit cells, which involves all the unit cells in detail. Then you have got defects as well, from which a theoretical topic is asked, basically. A theoretical concept is asked, right, in your NEET examination. As far as your chapter solution is concerned, I would say these two topics are very, very important. One is ideal, non-ideal solution, and all the colloquial properties like your relate to lowering in vapor pressure, elevation and boiling point, etc, etc. These are the two topics from the chapter solution which you are not going to leave at any cost. Then my dear students, as far as electrochemistry is concerned, from which two to three questions are asked everywhere, every year. Nernest equation, conductance and kohl ross law. These are the three topics from the chapter electrochemistry which you guys should not skip at all. Okay. Then, when you talk about the chemical kinetics, when you hear the word chemical kinetics, there are two topics which comes to my mind, from which question every year almost comes. Questions based on first order reactions and Arrhenius equation. Two topics which are supposed to be prioritized at any cost, my dear students. Right? Then talking about coordination chemistry, there are three topics which you have to prioritize. One is your VBT, valence bond theory, crystal field theory and isomerism. Three topics from the chapter coordination chemistry, which you should not skip at all. Then talking about different trends in the inorganic chemistry, my dear students, all the trends related to thermal stability, melting point, boiling point and reducing nature, right? And at the same time, bond dissociation energy. Do not skip these topics when it comes to the trends, basically. So you have to remember all the trends related to thermal stability, melting, boiling point, reducing nature and bond dissociation energy as well, okay? Then solubility in S-block elements, right? Solubility of S-block elements. This is equally important and question has been asked, right? From it many a times. Two important compounds, one is borax and diborane, equally important. Oxy acids of phosphorus, sulfur and halogens, again very important and these are the topics which you can easily cover from your NCRT, right? No need to consult any reference book or something. At the same time, there are some organic reactions like EAR, FRSR, ASR, SN1, SN2, E1, E2 from your alkyl halides, right? These are the topics from your chapter, Al uh, hello alkanes my dear students, hello alkanes arenes. Moving ahead. Talking about the other topics, you have got dehydration and Lucas test from the chapter alcohols. Do not skip it. Okay. You have got distinguishing test which involves tolvins, phalin and iodoform from the chapter aldehydes ketones. Do not skip it. A very, very, very important. You have got reactions like aldol, canizolo and clazin. Right. These are again very important reactions from which questions almost everywhere have been asked. You have got other side chain oxidation. Right? And acidic strength when it comes to the carboxylic acids, right? Side chain oxidation as well as acidic strengths of the carboxylic acids. Again, the questions have been asked. Then you from amines, when you talk about amines, from amines, there are a few important topics like diazotization, coupling reactions, even the basic strength of amines, right? So these are the very, very, very important topics from the chapter amines. And my dear students, so I mean we have got more topics as well, but before that, let me tell you. If you want the PDF of this telegram, this particular session, you have to join this particular telegram group, right? In which I keep on posting stuff related to all the sessions, like what are our weekly targets, what we are going to cover on YouTube on every week, basically. So if you're not joined yet, do join it right now. At the same time, moving on to a few more topics, my dear students. Have a look exactly. You have got structure, sorry, it's not strength, it's structure of starch, cellulose, maltose, lactose, and sucrose, right? You have got amino acids, you have got anti-acid, tranquilizers, analgesic, antiseptic, antibiotics, from which directly questions have been asked from your NCRT. So do not skip it at all. Some more, nylon 6, nylon 6, 6, nylon 2, 6 and terylene. Again, some important things, right, which you are not going to skip. Because question directly will be asked from them. Then you have got Jaldal's method, Dumas method, chromatography and distillation. Again, four topics which most of the students skip basically. Right? But I would suggest do not go to chromatography in detail. Right? Just have a look on the NCRT. There's a paragraph written on it. Right? Just have a look on that. And that's enough for you as far as the NEET examination is concerned. Now talking about other important topics which are easy kill topics basically and question every year is asked. Photochemical smog, greenhouse effect, acid rain. Right? Then you have got compounds like K2Cr207, its structures and reactions. 
KMnO4 it structures reactions then you have got lanthanide contraction as well so my dear students these were some very 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 important topics which i would want all of you which i would want all of you to do on priority because these are the topics from which questions have been frequently coming when it comes to the pyqs basically when you see the pyqs chapter wise pyqs you will find these topics only which are frequently touched in your neat examination that does not mean you are going to leave the other topics study the other topics as well but do prioritize these topics the most do as many as as many questions as possible from these topics right if you really want to score well in your chemistry if you have target to get 180 out of 180 as far as your subject chemistry is concerned right and at the same time my dear students in this particular week in this particular week i'm going to complete two chapters on youtube both the chapters will be one shot videos four to five hour duration of each right tomorrow at 5 pm tomorrow at 5 pm i'll be doing redox reaction in one shot that session will not take more than 5 hours it's a small chapter only but i'll start from the basics complete all the problem patterns then in the same week itself i'm going to complete one more chapter of your class 12 that is solid state that will also happen in one session only okay and apart from that shreyas sir he'll be taking care of your electrostatics this week and ambika ma'am she has already given her schedule like what she is going to do in this week talking about hsp sir he is going to complete your hydrocarbons this week itself okay so he's already done with alkenes today he is going to do alkenes he might be doing it right now right and there is one topic left that is alkynes which he'll be doing in this particular week itself okay so this was a very quick session uh, just to inform you like what are the topics which you have to focus on more right because you have got enough time left perfect so do not waste your time like in order to solve like some useless things perfect prioritize the topics that is the most important thing all the topics which i have given you all these all these topics how to be prioritized my dear students right right as many questions as possible do them from the topics which i gave you and i'm 100% sure if you do these topics you can easily score well right well means 170 plus for sure as far as your subject chemistry is concerned related to need 2024 examination right so a very small video for all of you take care god bless you all and love you all guys take care bye bye